Brian, you guys went on, um, I think, a 75 to 30 run after falling down 13 early. What allows uh, you guys to have success like that over a sustained period of time, uh, a run like that? Pay attention to detail. Um, I, don't th I don't think in the beginning that we were um, physical enough. Um, and you actually, you, you have to get a feel for how hard Miami plays. Um, and I think, um, you know, they smacked us in the mouth. And we got a sense of that. And so we knew how hard we had to play if we wanted to try to make it a game. And, um, you know, from that moment when it was 23-10, we started to play um, to our capabilities. We started flying around. We started getting defensive stops in. We started sharing the ball a, bit, uh, a lot better offensively and just got into a really good group. For AD, obviously his first finals game, what did you see about, about his preparation? Was there any advice you gave him? And, and to see him perform like that, um, what well, what do you feel about that? Um, I don't feel anything. I expect it out of him. Um, didn't need to give him no advice. Uh, we've been preparing for this moment all season. He's been preparing for this moment all season. And I'm happy to be on the same floor with him in the same uniform. And uh, um, he was, once again, a, a force um, every facet of the game, both offensively and defensively. LeBron, you've, you've felt the buzz of the NBA Finals nine times in your career. What was it like today? with nobody there, the sound. I mean, I know you're used to bubble basketball at this point, but on this stage, what did it feel like to play a finals game? It felt great. It felt great. I've been preparing for this moment for quite a while. Um, and fans, no fans, um, the, the inner challenge for myself and the way I prepared myself, it felt amazing to be playing in the finals once again. Brian, you've seen plenty of times over the years where if one team has a bunch of injuries, the other team kind of floats a little bit and doesn't come at them as hard. How do you make sure that you guys don't do that in game two? We've got so much more work to do. Um, <clears throat> the job is not done. And we're not satisfied. We're winning one game. Is that simple? Brian, there was a few times where you guys got up big and then um, there was a lot of celebrating going on. And, you know, I seen you sometimes you, you had to rein them in a little bit. What, what do you, um, from your experience, what have you seen in the past that, that, that got you to the point where you felt like sometimes you just say, like, okay, let's, let's keep it on task? Uh, the best teacher in life is experience. And I've experienced moments in my career, um, finals games, where you had all the momentum in the world. You felt like you had the game under control. One play here or one play there uh, could change the course of a series or change the course of a game. And um, one in particular that always rings home for me um, is game two of the 2011 finals in Miami versus Dallas. Um, D. Wade hits a three right by that bench. Uh, I believe put us up either 13 or 17. And from that moment on, Dallas went on a hell of a run and finish it off with a Dirk Nowitzki left-hand layup to, to steal that game. That shit burns me to this day. So I always talk about the best teacher in life is experience, so I've experienced a lot. So that's what prompted me to be who I am today, is being able to have those experiences. Brian, I'm wondering in a game like this, when you guys have the kind of lead that you had, are you already thinking, um, this is what we've done. This is what we could do better. Here are some things that we're doing wrong. Were you already in that frame of mind during this game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I was. I think you can learn so much more from a from a win than you can in a loss. Um, and I can't wait to get the, you know, for tomorrow for us to get back together and watch the film and see ways we can be better and see some of the breakdowns that we had, um, you know, especially in that fourth quarter, especially in that first six minutes of the first quarter, uh, where we could be um, so much better defensively and also so much better offensively. So um, I, I can't wait. I'm, I'm extremely um, uh, amped up about watching the film with our, with our, with our ball club tomorrow. Um, I'm going to watch some tonight, obviously, um, you know, by myself. Um, but looking forward to getting together as a group tomorrow. Hey, LeBron, Mike Trudell back in L.A. Uh, the teams have spent you know, your whole career trying to keep you out of the paint. You can say the same thing this season about A.D. 
how, what are some of the ways that you guys are still always seemingly able to get there, uh, still able to get to the rim and still able to finish? Because we have great spacing and great shooters. Uh, without KCP, without Danny Green, without Kyle Kuzma, and Markeith Morris, and, and, and a list of guys that can spread the floor, um, it allows myself and AD to be able to do the things that we do um, in the interior. And we try to mix up our game too. Uh, you know, we try to mix it in um, in the interior and in exterior. Uh, but you know, when you have you know guys that can space the floor um, like we have, it, it allows us to do um, some of the things that we do in the paint. LeBron, why is Rondo so opposed to being called playoff Rondo? And did you guys see some of that in the first half, especially? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never called him that. Um, we've never called him that. Uh, we only call him Doe. Um, so that would be a Doe question. But, you know, just having him in this moment, um, having him on our, on our side. And, um, you know, I think he mentioned yesterday or, you know, whenever media day was uh, for the finals that you just don't, you never know. You don't get these moments a lot. And, um, you know, it's been over a decade since he's been in the finals. And, you know, and I think he's just, you know, cherishing the moment, but also just, you know, just playing the game that he loves to play, the cerebral way, uh, the determined way, and the championship way, um, as he's been playing for quite a while now. 